So we're back making videos again, film review software, and sometimes when you have an enforced break, I've not been able to do the videos for a few weeks, it's really hard to get back into it, isn't it? And you're like, oh, here we go. But I'm going to use um, this one to make a review of some software I use all the time. It's called LastPass, and it's a password storage system that stores your passwords across your browsers, uh, you know, across Google Chrome, across your devices, on your Android phone or your iPhone, uh, so that they're always there and handy. So let's jump straight in and let's have a look at LastPass. I was a bit worried here that I'd show you the... Um, my passwords but it seems to be okay so in this video i will show you by the way the link is in the description uh, if you want to try it out uh, free trial and then get a discount when you sign up check out the link in the description but here is lastpass here is the dashboard all of my passwords that are stored in lastpass so in this video i'll show you basically this is the login screen on chrome i'll show you how it works on other extensions and also how it works on your mobile phone right so first thing to show you um, and I'll just show you this very quickly. I did this earlier and it worked. So if I go onto a separate browser, I'm on Microsoft Edge here. I've, I've joined up this Dunelm site. I'll sign out again here just to show you. Uh, but I've never used Dunelm before. I should really because my mate is a manager of one of their stores. But yeah, Dunelm sells stuff that I don't want. Yeah, I don't need any of it. Don't need any of it. It's just rubbish for your house. Sorry, Matty. Um, but uh, now I've registered for their site. When I registered, it said, do you want to save the uh, password within LastPass? And I said, yes. So now every time I log on to Dunelm, the red dots of LastPass will flash up there and it automatically inserts the password and logs me onto the site. Now, the reason I'm showing you on Microsoft Edge is I did all that on Microsoft Edge. But now if I go to the Chrome browser uh, and it's probably, let me just sign out this is take two i'll be honest with you i'm very transparent it was nothing went wrong it just wasn't recording well so so now pretend that i've never logged on before <laughs> i click on to dunelm and click sign in and uh across browsers so this could be across devices across computers as long as uh, the chrome extension is live on each browser on each computer i just click on the dots and it automatically remembers that password uh on each browser and also a point to mention is say i have like for example i have two gmail accounts i have this one fill your bank for all of my videos and all of my yeah and i've got my original one that i use just for personal stuff so if i am sometimes you know and depending on what i'm doing i'm sometimes locked in to both which probably isn't a great idea and i should simplify it uh, but then if i register for a site on the other account while i'm logged into gmail uh, you know, my normal personal email, it will save the passwords there. Okay, so that's one great fit. I think that's where it wins over these free, you know, obviously on Google Chrome, it'll save all your passwords. But then if you go on to another browser or another account, those passwords won't be saved. So let's go back to LastPass now and show you some of the other features. So you've got your passwords, which are stored there. You have got, there's one thing I can't show you here. I don't really want to edit today. Passwords are there. There are notes. You can just add a note. This could be, a, so it's a secure note, uh, you know, it could be a secret password. It could be your driving license number. Those th those things that, you you know, you're always wanting to get hold of. Driving license, national insurance number. Do you know your national insurance number off by heart? And well, I do know mine, but not off by heart. So so there, you see, you see the things you could store there. You could add a password, a secure note, an address, a payment card, or a bank account. So let me just show you then. The one I don't want to show you is my addresses. Uh, so, see, it stores my payment cards. It stores my bank account. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, and also my addresses. If I click on that, it'll show you my addresses. But obviously, I don't want you turning up at my house. Um, okay, and it gives you a security score. Mine is an ace. I've got a few that probably are double ones, the ones that are at risk. It'll also monitor your passwords on the dark web. I don't really understand how that works. But, uh, yes, maybe you do. All right. What else to show you here? Uh, shared folders. I could have a folder in here that I could share with my partner, with my mother, with somebody else in my workplace who I trust, with my details. Also on LastPass. Now, this is um, a great feature. Emergency access. So, say you lose your access or you lose your laptop and you need to get access to your important passwords you can give somebody, you know, your closest, your nearest, your dearest um, emergency access. You can add them on and then they can have a password and they can also access you and get you back on board with all of your passwords. 
Uh, I'm not going to show you my family, but for not much more than the individual price, you can have a family account with, I think, up to five people. And don't worry, they won't be able to see your other passwords. So if you've got anything dodgy or no, it'll be like, in effect, five individual accounts, you know, the family account, and they all have their unique master password to log on. All right. Uh, is that everything to show you there? There's just the settings. I don't really need to show you the account settings. Um, and what's Rocket? Oh, yeah, just manage your vault. You can import and export those passwords, add identities and do all sorts there. So that is basically the browser. Um, now we're going to show you the extension. So just let me show you this quickly. Click on the extension. That is just a Google Chrome extension. So as long as that is installed and active, it will automatically. So if you sign up for a new site, like when I signed up for Dun Dunelm there, I, sh I should do I'll just sign out. When I do register, so it says I create account. If it was a new account and I was doing it with a new email, I could ask LastPass and it will suggest a password for me. And I use that, create the account. I'm not going to do it again because I don't want multiple emails from Dunelm telling me to buy stuff I don't need. Um, it will automatically create that password, which I can use and save, and then... When I'm happy with it, it will save it into my LastPass vault. So every new website you sign up for, you use LastPass, let it create a unique password rather than using the same old password on all the sites, which we all are guilty of and we shouldn't do. So that's that's how it works. Two things, sign up for a new site, it will automatically create your password and save it. Go to a site you've already signed up for and it will remember the password. Okay, so that's basically how it works. I think, yeah... Uh, and and then just to show you that it also works on your phone. So whether it be on iOS, hang on, just let me jump through. I'm back. Sorry about this snivel. It's uh, it's the snivel everyone's got in the UK. So on my phone, you can see that I've got the app, and all my passwords are stored on the app on my phone. But also, uh, it's an extension. So if I'm on Chrome, uh, just to let you know about this extension. And this will probably change in time. So I, you have to use the Safari browser on iPhone and obviously Google Chrome on your Android phone. I don't know why it doesn't work on Google Chrome on iPhone yet, but they'll probably sort that one day. But yeah, so, uh, you know, when you're on a site, again, uh, sign in. You see the last part. I don't think actually I've got the extension enabled, but I'll try and do that in a future video how many times have i said that and never made a future video but yeah once it's enabled uh, on your phone the last press three dots there can you see them there they'll probably be red and it will remember your login and also if you register and save something on your browser on your phone it will save it into your master password so it'll flash up on your chrome browser and i think that is just about everything about LastPass. so yeah um First video back for a while. Um, oh yeah, it's funny how you forget how to do things. And once you're in a role, you keep on doing them all the time. Um, so yeah, give it a try. There's a link in the description. Uh, it does give a free trial. I know it's a kind of one of those free trials where once you've spent all the time saving all your passwords, you'll probably end up subscribing. But give it a try. I use it for mine. I've, I've found... Um, I've used a couple of other store, password storage systems. I've also used Google Chrome. I just found for cross browser, it's the best one and I'm enjoying using it. All right. So tell me what you think about it or if there are any alternatives. Hope you've had a wonderful uh, holiday time. It's the end of uh, 2022. So I should really in this week, even though you might be watching this video in the middle of summer, say, uh, hope you've had a great Christmas and uh, all the best for 2023. And I will see you with more videos as we go into the new year. Take care. See you soon.